Yo, what is good, Jets Nation? Welcome back to Jets Media. This is Richie, and in this video, I want to give you guys my thoughts of Jamie and Sherwood and bring you guys my rookie profile on him. This is the next episode of the series here on Jets Media where I break down each rookie from the 2021 draft class. I already broke down Zach Wilson, Elijah Vera Tucker, Elijah Moore, Michael Carter. So now we got Jamie and Sherwood, and I'm going to break down each individual prospect from the Jets draft class. So if you guys are not subscribed to Jets Media, make sure you do so. And if you guys want to check me out over on Instagram and Twitter, you guys know where to find me at nyjets underscore media and if you guys enjoyed the video please do not forget to thumbs it up with that being said let's jump right into my jamie and sherwood rookie profile so this is a player that's coming out of auburn and it's another one of those guys that we are transitioning into a linebacker when we initially drafted him nfl network and espn they had the graphic as a safety and he played a lot of safety at auburn but he's a versatile player who is going to be transitioning to a linebacker for the New York Jets. Robert Sala, he's trying to get a lot of different pieces on this New York Jets defense that he can maneuver with. And this is the perfect example of somebody that's going to come in here and compete for a starting job. I think he has an opportunity to show up in training camp and say, hey, I'm a versatile guy. I'm a physical, long, lanky guy that can play Mike linebacker or Will linebacker or whatever you want to call it because he's a very versatile piece that played all over the place and he's very good at playing up against tight ends and we're going to break down everything about him his strengths and his weaknesses because there's a lot to learn about Jamie and Sherwood as a player and when we get deeper into the draft picks like the fourth and fifth sixth seventh rounds you know these players were hopeful they can they can at least provide depth uh, we're not expecting them to start right out of the gate but you never know a guy like Bryce Hall in last year's draft class he was a fifth round pick and I think he's going to be our starting outside cornerback this year so you never know what could happen with these late picks especially on the defensive side of the ball because as you guys know the first four draft picks in this draft class was all offense and then the last six players were all defense so i'm excited to break down all of these defensive players so let's get right into jamie and sherwood's strengths uh the first one i have is his size he is a very long lanky type of guy that is going to be a perfect fit at the outside linebacker uh position in the box he's a physical person that can thump you he's a guy that's a hard hitter we're going to break down each strength but the size is something that stands out to me it's going to be an easy transition from college football to the nfl he has an nfl type of body um, another strength is his versatility uh, i mentioned this earlier he played safety in college outside linebacker he played even slot cornerback he can line up on the line of scrimmage and be an edge rusher at times he's somebody that's going to be a swiss army knife type of player that Ulbrich and sal are going to be able to maneuver all around the defensive side of things but i feel like his strong suit is is going to be in the box and be that type of box safety i think he's going to play outside linebacker as well he's going to be all over the place and that's a very good thing that he's versatile because that's what joe douglas did in this draft class is bringing a lot of versatile athletic players in the back end of the draft another strength is he's a very hard hitter he is somebody that will thump you he's going to lay a mark and I feel like that's the type of players that Rob Sala wants in his defense. You know, hard-hitting, physical type of guys, all gas, no break. I feel like Jamie and Sherwood fits the mold of a type of linebacker that Robert Sala wants to develop over the years. Uh, maybe not this year. Sherwood becomes the starter, but maybe years down the line, he can develop and over time become a starter in the for the New York Jets. Uh, another strength to have, he's a very core special teamer. So this is where I think he's going to thrive, especially as a rookie. He's going to be a starter on the special teams, in my opinion. He was the core special teamer over at Auburn, and we know that we are trying to value all three phases of the ball on defense, offense, and special teams. Brant Boyer is probably going to get inside the mind of Sherwood and see what he can do. As we know, we signed Justin Hardy. He's going to be the you know the gunner, but Jamie and Sherwood can be right next to him. He can be probably provide a lot of impact on special teams, whether it's kick returning, not returning kicks, but you know blocking people, or even on the kick return on the other side, go out there and tackle him. I feel like Jamie and Sherwood is going to provide an immediate impact as a rookie on especially special teams and another strength is his ability to cover tight ends this is something that goes with the size he matches up very well against the bigger tight ends and we're in a division where the patriots went out there and signed two big time tight ends and the tight ends are starting to become the next you know age of the nfl on the offensive side of things and for us to go out there and get a guy like sherwood who they feel comfortable to match up against tight ends that's a good sign for his development because we need somebody that can go up man to man lock him up uh he's not gonna, he, his strength is not locking him up like 
absolutely but he has potential to develop into somebody that can lock up tight ends for the future and then the last strength to have is his physicality his he's very physical and i mentioned this earlier that's the exact type of system a robert Sali runs a 4-3 defense where he wants everybody to be physical get off the blocks thump them and i feel like the physicality is going to suit well for jamie and sherwood now let's get into his weaknesses because there are quite a few so the first one is his speed. He is not the quickest type of guy. He's not someone that's going to uh, chase people down if they break free for an open touchdown or something like that. He's not someone that's going to be able to run sideline to sideline. He's not that fast. So he's more of a physical, lengthy power type of linebacker safety, not really speed. Uh, that's not the biggest weakness because we don't expect an outside will will linebacker to be that fast but that's something you want to bring up um another weakness is his ability to shed the blocker i notice on film whenever he gets blocked it's hard for him to get free and break off the tap break off the blocker and make the tackle that's something that he needs to adjust hopefully he can get more um muscle to him maybe if that's what he needs i know that i said he has really good size which he does but he definitely still needs to uh, put on some more weight and develop his body throughout his career. I think that's going to happen. But his ability to shed the blocker is definitely something he needs to work on. I feel like the coaching staff will definitely help him out with that. And another weakness is his hands. Uh, he did not have a lot of interceptions. Whenever the ball hits his hands, it's more pass deflections. He never really picks it off. And that's okay. He's going to be dropping back in zone at times. He's going to be playing man-to-man -man against tight ends. But we're not expecting him to be a ball hawk. But that's a weakness because he did play safety at Auburn. He did play linebacker. He was dropping back in coverage, and he definitely did not have the proper hands that you would expect. And then another weakness is his ability to play over the top. He's not going to be able to drop back deep zone. Um, I know that he's labeled as a safety coming out of Auburn, but the Jets are going to transition him to a linebacker. So we're not going to really have to worry about him playing over the top. But that's something that if you watch the film at Auburn, you notice that he struggles. So that's why the transition is going to be really well for Jamie Sherwood because I feel like his ability is perfectly suited for a linebacker instead of a safety. So I feel like that's why they're doing that exact thing because his weakness is playing deep zone. Now, let's get into his expectations for him as a rookie. I think the first expectation I have is for him to play physical, play his style of defense, play his style of football, which is just running up and down the field, popping people, leaving a mark. And I feel like his physicality is going to make or break his career in the NFL. Another expectation is have a high motor. I want to make sure that these guys are going to be having that all grass, no break mentality on and off the field. And hopefully never takes any plays off. He's somebody that if you watch his film, he has the passion, he has the will to win. But can we see that on the field every single game, especially in training camp? Because all these rookies are going to have a lot of opportunities to get playing time, especially in preseason, because that's when they're going to get every single snap necessary to show the coaching staff, I'm going to be able to make an impact as a rookie and develop over time. And another expectation is I want him to be a starter on special teams. I know that I mentioned earlier, he's a core special teamer. So if Jamie Sherwood can lock down a starting role on the special teams, whatever it is, that's going to be a huge positive because I feel like all these defensive players we brought in they're going to be more depth pieces but Jamie Sherwood has potential to become a starter on the special teams and it's going to compete for a starting job at the linebacker position we will see what Sherwood does that's really it for the strengths weaknesses expectations for Sherwood leave a comment down below your thoughts of him what do you expect from him as a rookie do you think he's going to develop into a starting linebacker is he going to be a just a core special teamer is he someone you're not really high on you didn't really like the draft pick from Joe Douglas let me know your thoughts of Jamie Sherwood down below in the comments I'd love to hear what you guys have to say that is for this video stay tuned for more content here in jets media i'm gonna be breaking down each rookie next up is michael carter the second i appreciate all the support here in jets media it means a lot to me make sure you like the video if you guys enjoyed and i'll catch you guys in my next video let's go jets peace